sorry, buddy. All right, we're gonna get this sideways. Give me a second here, cause I am totally new to this. All right, questions for everybody. Thoughts on Taylor Hotchkiss from Leland23. Let's see. Thoughts on Taylor Hotchkiss. Um, I don't know whether or not I could trust her right now. Because right now I feel like I don't know if this is going to be true or not, but I really think that we're going to find out tomorrow something about her that I don't know if it's going to be a split personality, but as I said in the video on YouTube, which if you're not following us, The Lapse of Life, formerly PLL Freaks 13. Hey, everybody coming in. Sorry if I can't see all your names because this is extremely, extremely a lot of people, but... Be sure to follow us. We're going to do a live reaction to the finale tomorrow night, I believe. Um, you know, so we'll see. But as far as Taylor Hotchkiss, hi, Lauren. I am unsure what to think of her other than I believe that she has a split personality. I really think with that whole showdown with shooting Jeremy last week, I really think that that is what's going on with that woman. But we shall see. Next question. What are you hoping to know after the finale besides who killed Nolan? Honestly, are we going to find that out in tomorrow's episode? Because, you know, like thinking to Pretty Little Liars, if we know Marlene King, are we actually going to find out as to whether or not, like who it is that killed Nolan, or is it just going to be something else? So, hey everybody again, but... What I'm hoping to know after tomorrow's finale is what's going on with Ray Hagedorn because I believe that Ray Hagedorn plays a bigger role in all of this than anybody is able to see right now. I really feel, and Megan and I have talked about this, I really feel that he is their actual father. That's my feelings on that. As far as season two, I have not heard anything about it yet. If somebody wants to answer that, please, for the love of God, please type that below. I really think he is the father, Catherine. No, Samuel, don't be a bad boy. All right, let's see. Next question. Uh, this is from Meme Perfectionists, and I'm going to try to keep it as trying to keep it as uh, one question per person or possibly two because there's quite a few here. Who do you think will have the most shocking moment in the finale? What star story arc would you want to see for Allison in season two? Have we met Nolan's killer yet? I'm going to answer that one because I believe we have. At this point, <clears throat> with thinking about whether or not Taylor does have a split personality, I'm thinking that, but also I'm wondering if because Hagedorn has all these, and you guys know what I call him if you watch our YouTube, but because Hagedorn has all these things on his wall, is he covering up for something? Like, okay, so we think that he's the father, but is there more to the story? Because if Taylor actually believes that the guy that died in front of her was her father, then there's a fishy story going on there. Will Marlene King be able to fit that all into a one-hour episode tomorrow night is anybody's guess. Yes, Catherine, that's exactly what I call him. Thank you. Follow my liar's feed. Next question. Which of the original liars would fit in best with the new show? Uh, this is from Meme Perfectionists again. Which one would fit in best with the show? Well, if we're going to talk about just the liars themselves, my favorite, my favorite liar is Hannah and second place is Spencer. I would love to see them both in the show, but of course, because of Allison and my feelings toward Emerson, I would want her to be in the show for Allison's sake. Now, the guys from the show, can we please have Wilden or Toby 
take over this investigation instead of Booker. I have had it up to my eyeballs with Booker. I'm going to get on a rant. I am sick and tired of Booker. I'm sick of seeing her face. I say this in every single video on YouTube. I am tired of her. I am tired of looking at her. I am tired of everything about this former FBI agent that is now BHU security. I'm done. I am done. I love Hannah too. I am done. Now, next question. That moment when Wilden is less annoying than Booker. <laughs> agreed. So agreed. Or Tanner. Or Tanner. Honestly. Wilden's dead, though. I know. But in this show, what the hell? Let's bring him back from the grave. All right. Pretty little perfectionist. If we already just answered this question about who I'd want to see make a cameo in the finale. Uh, in the finale, I would love to see Emily make a cameo. That'd be awesome. How possible do you think the Ezra book theory is? Now, if you guys have watched our YouTube videos, uh, it's been discussed on there. Whether or not this is true is anybody's guess, but... It's been discussed on there that it's a very big possibility that... All of this is an orchestration of Mr. Fitz himself since, and we're only basing it off of this and all the similarities to what has happened in Pretty Little Liars, such as, did you miss me? Such as somebody falling off a damn tower, like the bell tower. All this different stuff that goes on. Is it possible that Ezra Fitz is writing a book from his perspective, but fiction at the same time? I don't know if it's true or not, but I'll tell you what, I would be down with that so much, it'd be ridiculous. Do we think that Zoe has anything to do with it? Zoe is a fishy character. Zoe is a fishy character. And so is Andrew. I am not a fan. I think, as we discussed in last week's video, that he is the person that ratted out Dylan to the faculty regarding that piece that he wrote and then wanted to retract his story and try to get him to be seen by whoever that guy was with the curly gray hair because of his song, because he felt guilty afterwards. Like, I'm so sorry. But yeah, I think Zoe is playing a role in the uh, nonsense of this. Who knows? Maybe she's a Hotchkiss. But this whole, this whole cast, like there's a bunch of fishy characters uh, in this show. Okay, pretty little pot, plot holes. Not pretty little potholes. Sorry about that. Pretty little plot holes that Marlene is famous for. Her question is, what has been your favorite episode of PLL and The Perfectionist to review on YouTube? As far as PLL, the OG, my absolute favorite episode of the show we have not reviewed on YouTube. Um, there's two of them. One being the lady killer, the other being the first secret. Unfortunately, at the time of both of those airing on television, we did not have our YouTube channel yet. Um, we got our YouTube channel less than a year after Toby was revealed. Now, as far as who I liked, like what episode I liked discussing, I think that as much as I could not stand the episode just because of all the plot holes in it, don't get me wrong, like looking back on it, and I'm going to say this in code for people that are privy right now to this video that have yet to see the finale that I'm going to discuss. But looking back on it four years later, what was revealed in season six, I mean, it would have made a little bit more sense had it been gone about in a totally different way. The story, okay, but the way that it was like presented just as the mental health thing, that really, really pissed me off. But that had to be my favorite episode to review because we were, and of course, you know, game over Charles, we were so hyped up for it to be you know who. But say la vie. But that had to be my favorite one because it drove us absolutely crazy. Okay. Uh, Captain Swans. Do you think Nolan's uh, killer is going to be revealed? What are you hoping will happen? 
What I'm hoping that will happen if you've watched us on YouTube, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rephrase this a little bit. Not only do I wanna be blasted into the stratosphere tomorrow night, I want to be hovering on a rocket ship on Pluto that I am blasted into the mesosphere, so totally out of the Earth that it's ridiculous. Will that happen? I'm going to bet no. Why will I bet no on that? Because I know Marlene King. There's a theory going around about Booker being the killer. If that's the case, I'm out. Yo, if Booker's the killer, I swear I am jumping in the TV and I'm going to smash her so hard that her hair is going to turn straight. I am not going to deal with that. Booker is not going to be the killer. That is 100%. I do not believe that whatsoever. As far as who my thoughts are on who, are, who is going to be the killer, it's going to be a toss-up for me of... Obviously, this is somebody that Nolan trusted. Or it was someone that, if, you, if we're thinking about that text message that was sent to Allison that supposedly got sent during the power outage, then it's going to give me a thoughts on that. I really don't think that that message was sent from Nolan's phone. That was a clone phone, and that message was sent at the time that she received it, that is my personal opinion, because let's face it, with the way that Taylor can orchestrate a security system, don't sit there and tell me that she can't plan and get into cloning a phone so that it has her brother's number to send Allison a message pretending to be Nolan talking about going up onto that roof. I really and truly believe this woman has a split personality. If I am wrong, I will eat my coffee cup in tomorrow night's recap. So I really hope that I am not wrong on this. Did you notice, this is from Selena Caker. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Did you notice Dana Booker is the same person? Yes, she is the publisher in the episodes with Arya and Ezra. Hence, Megan put two and two together and thinks that Ezra is writing a book. I, I Again, I would be down with that 100%, but I'm not too sure I believe it. Do you think A will come back next season? A, as in the OG A? I, I really hope not. But if you're talking about the person that's sending like messages like uh, about the rat or leaving rats and trunks and following people in a friggin' pig costume or whatever he had on down in that, uh, it was a pig costume, wasn't it? Or a rabbit costume, whatever that was. But I really hope we get more of that like that creepiness element to it because I absolutely love that about the original Pretty Little Liars, how they would get the text messages. It would make you think like, ooh, this is so creepy. Follow me and death like me and all that other stuff that went on in the Pretty Little Liars. I don't want it to have like a supernatural type of feel to it like say Ravenswood, but I would like the creepiness from A messages to come in. Um, also, where was I going with this? The creepiness in the A messages. I don't know. I, I have no idea what I was about to say about that. So let's get to the next question. Uh, yeah, it was a pig mask. Okay, thanks, Dom. That's what I thought. I wasn't sure if it was a pig or a rabbit for some reason. Uh, Allison Smile. Is there something about Emerson? I don't believe for one minute. This is my personal opinion. You people might have a different one. But I don't care if Allison signed those divorce papers and hand-delivered them to Emily in a carton of eggs, and you know what I'm talking about, in a carton of eggs and shove them where the sun doesn't shine. As far as I am concerned, hi. Hi, can I interrupt you for a second? Sure. Megan said that she loves you, you're doing a great job, and she's tuning in when she can. Megan said hello and she loves us, everybody. She's tuning in when she can. She's at work right now. Everybody say hi to Megan. That's what I was saying, which was what? Because now you interrupted me. <laughs> Sorry. Dear, oh, okay. I know what I was talking about. So I don't think that either. Okay, so we saw her sign the papers. It doesn't make a difference to me because Emerson will be together. And if they're not, I'm going to be pissed. Like I was pissed when Pablo Papadopoulos was trying to make the moves on her in that episode. What was that, two weeks ago or last week? Last week. Yeah, but that guy, I was pissed. We all miss Megan, I know. Unfortunately, she has to work a double tonight, so. But she's here in spirit. 
Uh, do you think Vanderkiss is cute? Somebody tune me in. Who the hell is Vanderkiss? Someone answer that. And then I'll tell you if I think they're cute or not. Who is Vanderkiss? Anyone? Anyone? Mona and Taylor is Vanderkiss. Oh, that makes sense. Mona and Taylor. Mm, yeah. mm. Hmm. Mm. I don't know how I feel about that. Mm. Providing that she's actually a normal person. I guess I'd be down with it. <laughs> They're both beautiful. So, I don't see why that would be a problem. <laughs> I hate all the cops. Griff Onen. G-R-F-F-O-N-E-N. I'm in agreement with you. I can't stand them either, but let's be real. There are no cops. It's just a BHU security officer trying to pose as a cop. Um, let's see. Hmm. Favorite season one of the OG memory. The episode, The First Secret, stands out in my mind because I love Halloween. I absolutely loved that episode. I thought it was great. It was creepy. Uh, Lucas, the whole... I, I love Lucas, and I miss his stupid little face. So that's probably my favorite memory would be The First Secret, but I, I loved season one. I mean, if you go back and watch it, it was so good. And season two was so good. And season three was so good. And even season four was good. And then, okay. Uh, let's see. Who do I hate the most from PLL and The Perfectionist? From PLL, the original PLL, who did I hate the most? Um, I'd have to say Chuck. And from <clears throat> the new one, Booker. Booker by far. I cannot stand Booker. I cannot stand her. I agree. It went downhill in season five. That's... I couldn't stand Tanner either, but I'll take her over Booker any day. What do you think is the connection between Hotchkiss, as in, you know, Claire and Mason? <laughs> That's a very good question. She's got some kind of... She's got something hanging over his head like her son did. Because I don't care... I, I don't believe that they were as good of friends as they were, as he was letting on that they were. I don't buy that for a second. I really don't. So what she has on him now that she wants, like, surveillance on him at all times is anybody's guess. Because at this point, I can't even come up with a conclusion to that. Other than the fact that, I mean, why would she care that much about Mona? Will we have Zeva content? I hope so. I love Ava, and I am a huge fan of Zach now. I love him. Kisses from Argentina. Hello, Juanita. Hello. Oh, my God. I wish, Jared, I really wish that there would be a Lady Killer dollhouse level episode. That would be amazing. Thank you very much. Will Shay make an appearance? This is M I L I I I I I. Millie, I'm going to say. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but will Shay make an appearance? I really hope so. I really hope so. What do I do if somebody's sending a request to be in the live video? Like, what the heck does that mean? I have no idea. Uh, let's see. What do you think about Andrew? <clears throat> I'm not a fan. I am not a fan of him. I did like him in the beginning, and then it went downhill. And I get it, you know, he was hurt over the whole situation. But, I mean, if what we're thinking is correct and he's the person that went and ratted Dylan out like that, 
to cause him to possibly be expelled, I'm not down with him at all. I am not down with him. He stinks like salmon. He is fishy. And that's it. I hope the show gets renewed. I really do because I like it. I really do. Will there be any surprise appearances? This question is from Janelle and Sophia Aussie fan page. Um, in tomorrow night's episode, I don't know. I don't think that, I mean, that'd be cool. But when, not if, because I'm going to be positive here, but when it is renewed for season two, I hope that we get... I think I heard something about uh, Ashley Benson directing an episode. So I hope we get an appearance as opposed to text messages via Instagram of conversations taking place behind the scenes between Mona and Ashley. Well, Mona and Hannah and Mona and this person and Caleb and that person. Like, Caleb's going to do this. I am going to save this live. I'm actually going to upload this to YouTube. So... Let's see. Carolina Gomez, 279. Since MSN ended, I don't like the show anymore. Keep the original PLL. I think you should stay tuned. I have a feeling that MSN is going to have a future. My heart tells me it is. My, heart's, my heart tells me that they will. Would you like to see the people known as the people that are... Uh, at the end of the episode in France on The Perfectionist. Um, the reason I'm saying it that way is because, again, people in this room that have not seen that episode yet. Um, that'd be... Eh. I, eh. Maybe the first one you mentioned. You know, the one who uh, we've known since season one if you know what I'm talking about. But that'd be cool. Other than that, like, the only reason I would want to see that is because I'd want to see Mona kick the crap out of them. Since you and Megan were not on YouTube during the original A Mona reveal, did you guys know beforehand that she was A? Were you shocked or happy? Um, honestly, in season two, <clears throat> with the way that I just had these odd feelings because, you know, at the time, we didn't really theorize too much about it. So we were sitting there thinking the entire time that it was going to be Ezra. The entire time we thought it was going to be Ezra. So when Mona turned around, I'm not going to say that I was shocked. I, I, I mean, I was a little shocked, but I wasn't disappointed like I was with other people later on in the show. Hey, Jonathan, um, the killer will be revealed in the finale. It was confirmed that that is awesome. I cannot wait for that. But honestly, I really did think that he was the original A. When Mona turned around, I wasn't upset with it because I liked Mona's character. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Now, nowhere near as ticked off as we were for the next reveal, if you know who I'm talking about. What will be... <clears throat> Did you know about the book twists at that point? Uh, no, because that question's from Tyson Jackson. We did not know about the book twist because I didn't actually start reading the books until it was like season five or so. And while the books are very good, um, I'm kind of glad that they put a different kind of like spin on certain things, but they did go with the original A in the books. I mean, let's be honest, but the villain will be revealed, not the killer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm okay with that, whatever. They have to keep us, like, tied into this somehow so that we'll still be intrigued. But let's see. So just the name of the villain's gonna be revealed as in, like, they're gonna do some kind of a, you know, Charles thing where it's in code. Hmm. Let's see. Let's get back to one of these questions. Here's one from <clears throat> D's Cuties. Do you think Marlene 
We'll keep track on different storylines and have less plot holes in this show. I can only hope so. If what happened the last time didn't give you a clue as to the fact that you need to go about this in a different way and stop answering questions via interview for people where there's still questions two years later after the show ended, then yes, I really hope that she thinks about it and answers more questions and doesn't befuddle us with more questions that we don't need prior to answering other ones. Does that make sense? Okay, I thought so. But, okay, uh, has the perfectionist lived up to your expectations? Um, I really, I'm going to be honest, I didn't have a lot of expectations going into it. I was just excited about it because Allison and Mona, two of my OG favorites, I absolutely love the both of them. So I, I never read the books, so I wasn't sure going into it exactly what would be going on, but it hasn't disappointed me. Like there's been some things, you know, like it is Marlene King, but all in all, I enjoy it. I enjoy watching it. I I especially enjoyed that part where whoever that was in the dust said, it's just like you imagined it. You people out there, someone answer this question and comment. I can't stand Booker. I cannot stand Booker. I cannot stand Booker. Marlo is now in season six of PLL. Um... Let, let, let me ask this question. We asked this on a video of ours, so I'm going to ask it here. Do you guys think that that voice, that it's just like you imagined it, do you think that that was a male or a female? Comment below and I'll review your comments. I cannot stand Booker. I cannot stand her. She makes me physically sick when I see her on the screen. Like my anxiety kicks up. I'm like... I, I, I just can't. Hey, sis, you and her. Are slam. <laughs> um, sounded like a woman, some person. Colton said he couldn't tell. I think it was a female. It was a female. Catherine and I both agree male. Leland agrees male. Do you think Booker will die in the finale? One can only hope so. One can seriously only hope so. Let's blast her off the roof. Let's smash her and run over her with a camper. I, I cannot stand her. They can turn everything and make them use a voice changer, so it's PLL. It, this is true. This is true. At first, I really thought that, not that I really thought it was Grunwald. I mean, let's be realistic here. But I wasn't sure what to think. And I'm still not sure what to think. What to think. What I will say is that whoever's voice that was is most likely the same person. Our YouTube channel is now The Laughs, The Laughs of Life, formerly PLL Freaks 13. Um, I'm your idol. <laughs> oh, dear God in heaven. Uh, but yeah, um, I think that whoever that person is that said that is the person that was hiding off in the distance in the woods. Also, the same person that basically took... Caitlin's whole, like, way to do Nolan in and just copycatted from there and then put their own spin on things. Again, if it was a recorded voice, who do we know in the show that has the ability to do that because they have a lot of experience in that kind of stuff? Oh, yeah, that's right. Taylor. Okay. Um, Booker dies and nobody cares. They celebrate. Correct. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do you think that Claire Hotchkiss killed her husband and possibly Nolan just because she has no emotion? Honest to God, I'm telling you, with the way that, that you could stand there and tell that woman, ma'am, we're very sorry, but your husband was just ran over by a bulldozer. Your son fell off a roof. Your daughter threw herself off a cliff. Your dog was kicked in the face and got ran over by a car while that happened. You could stand there and tell her all of this stuff, and this would be her face. There's no reaction. There is no kind of emotional, any kind of 
emotion at all showing in this woman. And I get it. I understand that the actress playing her, who is from the Scream movie, she was in Scream 3. That's how we knew her. Thank you. Um, I understand that she's being told to play a part like that, but seriously. But seriously. Like, like she grabbed, she was holding a glass and it fell to the floor. That happens when I get startled. Not when someone that I thought was dead comes traveling down the stairs. That would be a totally and completely different reaction. Could you explain a little more in detail about AD? Hmm. I wish I could at this moment. You're going to have to watch us on YouTube to get into that because certain people in this room are not privy to that information yet. Ergo, I can't get into that. Uh, to answer you, Leland, do I think Taylor is good or bad? <laughs> Depends on which personality you're talking about. I'm convinced. <clears throat> I have to read this. Uh, D's cutie said to me, gee, be careful. All you need is for Booker to die. And then in season 438, she pulls, did you miss me? <laughs> I can't. That's awesome. And so Marlene King, let's be real here. And so Marlene King, she would totally do that. All right, let's see. Um, where can I see PLL the perfectionist? Uh... Well, if you don't have Freeform, I would suggest that possibly, you know, going on to the Freeform app. I'm really not sure what's available in your country. Um, where are you from? If you could comment that below, maybe somebody could have an answer for you. I wish I did. Unfortunately, I don't write for the show. So there you go. The Freeform app has it if you're able to do it. Or Hulu, someone said. So if you have Hulu... That's an option. Hopefully, Netflix picks it up at some point, if not. Um, but it is on Hulu. Let's see. I don't know when it'll be out in the UK, Tia. I apologize. Did they mention how Dylan hurt his shoulder or arm? They said it's because he plays, like, from playing too much, he's caused an injury to, like the tendons in his shoulder and that if he continues to play, he might cause permanent damage to the nerves in there. So really he's advised not to, but he gives zero Fs and keeps doing it. Kudos to him because I would too, but you know, that's me. Don't pay attention to Gianna. Don't do as Gianna does. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I am going through the comments. Sorry for humming to you people. Let's see. Old liars or new liars? This question is from 80s uh, Vizana. <laughs> I love Ava and I love Dylan. But Hannah, Emily, Spencer, and Aria and Allison and Mona, are my OGs. I love those girls, old liars, all the way. All the way. All the way. Too many years and too much in invested into that show. Yes, I do ship Zeva. Uh, let's see. Favorite perfectionist would be Ava. I absolutely love her. How many episodes are left? Just tomorrow, which is the finale. Um... I hope we see some of the OG liars. How many times did you watch Pretty Little Liars completely? Um, several. Several. Going back and re-watching for theories and stuff, like people asking questions that we posted on our YouTube channel. Of course, we've watched season five because, thank you, Mila, for saying that. Mila, Mila, sorry if I'm mispronouncing, for saying you love our channel. Awesome. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe, people. The Laughs of Life. Hit the bell to get new new notifications. Don't wear headphones. We're loud people. But um, what I was going to say, though, is we did watch it several times. Now, in season five, for those of you who are not aware of this, let's shamelessly plug for a second. In season five, if you go to the episode, which was the fan special, unfortunately, it's not on Netflix. It is, however, on the DVD. The fan special, We Love You to Death, Moa and Megan were on that show. So 
perhaps you should watch it in case you're wondering who is this crazy person taking over liars until perfection on Instagram and what the hell do you have to do with the perfectionist? There's your answer. We have a YouTube channel. Go check out that episode. Oh my God, I saw you guys on the fan special. Yes, yes. That's how I first found you guys. Yes, rock on. The fan special was We Love You to Death. It was a fan special about the Pretty Little Liars show. Uh, commentary from the actors. Commentary from YouTubers that were specifically dedicated to the show. Myself and Megan, uh, the book ball. Ashley, <clears throat> Ashley, sorry, Ashley was on it. But anyways, go on and you'll see. Um, I wish they did a season eight. I wish it was still going on. I miss it. I really do. It was the end of an era, my people. It was the end of an era. Who ran Caitlyn over? Here's a good question. Here's a good question. You want to know what? At this point, I really think it might have been Taylor. I really think it might have been Taylor. Now that Jeremy was blasted across the dock, and as we said in our video, for somebody that supposedly watched her father die by gunshot and still was able to use a gun without blinking an eye and blasted Jeremy across the dock. He is off my radar as fishy. Now, in tomorrow's episode, if he is in fact someone that is involved, then I'd be like, okay, not really shocked. But we talked about it. We really think that uh, Jeremy's computer that he went Bob the Builder on and then threw into the shallow end of the pool was containing the stash and secrets of Nolan. So I really think that Taylor had something to do with everything that has happened in this show thus far. If I'm wrong again, I will eat this coffee cup. Oh, that got cold. All right, let's see. Speaking of Walmart run, <laughs> yes. What do you think he was hiding? Uh, I'm, I'm really serious when I think that he is, he was hiding the secrets that Nolan knew. Now, I really think that him and Nolan, and considering also that he worked or works for Claire Hotchkiss, he and Nolan were probably closer than was led on in the beginning of the series for reasons because he probably had secrets on him too, but I really think he was hanging on to the stash. Budget ran, Walmart ran. Why are you playing that? Uh, let's see. Do I think Claire is evil or really motivated to find the killer, Tyson Jackson? Considering the way that she has acted this far in the show, I, I, I'm not a fan of Claire Hotchkiss. I am not a fan of Claire Hotchkiss whatsoever. Um, I think she's a shady person. Very shady. I think that she shockingly and heartbreakingly enough is, was actually aware that someone was going to go on top of that roof. Whether it was her or not is anyone's guess. But if in fact it was Taylor, and that was Taylor standing on that roof, I think she already knew that she was friggin' alive and she is trying to cover up for her. And now this whole business about going to the spa, I'm not a fan of Claire Hotchkiss. She's heartless is right. Do you get, you think we'll get a season two, Sophia... Kavoto asks, I really hope so. Something is fishy. Let's see. Let's get, uh, are you and Megan filming a reaction video to the finale? I think so. Spoby or Haleb? Ugh, both. Spoby more towards the beginning of the series. Absolutely loved Spoby. Loved Spoby. Still, to this day, love them. But Haleb took over my heart. And without saying anything... I cried like a baby. Cried like a baby. Go check it out on YouTube. You should know what I'm talking about. Um, let's see. Who do I think BH4 is? Hotchkiss. As in Taylor. Uh, let's see. 
Marlene still says we are going to get a nickname for the new not A. What do you think it'll be? At this point, I'm calling that person Hog A D exclamation point CK. But, of course, I'm only teasing. Or am I? Let's see. A couple more questions, guys, and we got to wrap this up because we're going on 45 minutes. Uh, will there be more flashbacks? That's Zobia, ma'am. Uh, probably. I would say so. What's your YouTube channel name? Uh, this isn't live on YouTube right now, but I'm going to upload it to YouTube once this live is over with. Our channel is The Laughs, L-A-U-G-H-S, of life, all one word, and we are formally PLL Freaks 13. Let's see. Do I think in Argentinian? Um... I, I, I really, ah, oh, okay, no, that, that's okay, I'm sorry, I, I didn't understand what you meant by that, I apologize, um, I don't know what you want me to answer there, sweetie, uh, but, sure, let's see, uh, do you think anyone will die in this episode? Hmm, For those of you who weren't watching at the time that someone suggested this, I really hope that Booker goes flying off of a fucking, oops, sorry about that, goes flying off of a cliff, flying off of a cliff somewhere, gets ran over by someone's vehicle, gets tossed along inside the camper until she blows out the window, something. I want that woman to go. I want her gonzo. I want her gone. I don't want to see her in season two. I do not want to see her. I do not want to see her. And I really believe that we will have a season two. But I think that's going to be all for today. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to upload this to YouTube. Be sure to watch the finale tomorrow night. Watch for our live reaction. The Laughs of Life. Thank you so much to Liars Until Perfection for the opportunity to make this video and speak with all you guys and answer your questions. But I really hope that you enjoyed yourselves. I know we enjoyed ourselves. You guys have a great night. See you tomorrow. Thank you.